Hey guys, welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. Um, this is a game that I really love. I think I made myself clear about that in the last episode, but I'll say it again. This is a game I absolutely love. I actually read somewhere that they might have made a few minor changes in this version, so I'm actually interested in seeing what those might have been. So, episode two here, we're gonna go, we're gonna complete the first level. It's gonna be fucking awesome, because this game rocks. Huh, I didn't even remember there was a cutscene there. There's actually a lot of cutscenes in this game. Yeah, that's that's the whole deal, is the witch kidnapped Banjo's sister because she's like a great beauty witch. I mean, she's a 12 year old bear with pigtails. I don't think I agree with that really, but regardless, the witch kidnapped her because she's a great beauty. And she's in this machine that's supposed to take 2D's like youth and beauty and stick it into Grunty. And if you ever save and exit the game, you actually get treated to a scene of that happening. So it's like, don't fucking stop. Mr. Jiggy. Oh, the Jiggies. Fuck, man. And I noticed the honeycomb up top, I think that's how the honeycomb always looked in Banjo-Tooie. I think they've changed it from how it looked in this one. Which, I mean, that's fine, right? So this is the first world. I got that Jiggy ahead of time just because I knew where it was. Also one up there. It's right here. You can you can you can stop talking bottle boggles bottles, it's right there. Yep. So that's it. To, these are worlds. To be able to go in them, you need to take the jigsaw pieces that you get in levels and other places. Put them here. This one only needs one. The later pictures need tons. And you can, you can avoid putting a piece in so that you can do another world instead. There's not a whole lot of value in that, but I mean, you can do it. Mumbo's Mountain. Oh yeah, and the witch always rhymes, which is kind of weird. <laughs> I think she's modeled after the the witch in um, modeled after the witch in the Wizard of Oz, the original, not the uh, the remake. Yeah, I think you already told me that. Gingers. Oh, I love being able to move the camera like that. Yeah, basically you you want to find all these birds. That way you can, and when you get them all, you get a jigsaw piece. Mumbo's token. You need those for Mumbo. These are notes. They're like coins or whatever. You just want to collect them all. Like Pokemon, so there's continuity with one of my last playthroughs. No, it's not like Pokemon at all. Oh, and they make music when you touch them. That bull is bad news. Here's another ginger. And there's more notes. Like this game has so much like whimsy to it. Like it's a bear, there's music. <laughs> it's a bear. But like there's honeycomb for your health and for your water life there. Like it's just it's got so much charm and beauty to it. Like, oh, it's such a good game. And I was expecting it to feel kind of dated. It doesn't even feel that dated right now. Oh yeah, you. No. Oh I, I don't know the butt pound yet. Okay. Yeah, he teaches me the fucking the weird crawl. Alright. 
This is where I stopped playing in the last one, because I was like, I gotta start recording this. And I, I'm gonna try not to skip through so much, but I just, I know what to do, like... Yeah, you, you want an orange, okay. I get an orange from him. Right? Yeah, I think it's that orange there, right? Oh no, this is just a jigsaw piece. Conga's goal. Yeah, every world has 10 jigsaw pieces. And 100 notes, I believe? You see that, that little... I gotta get this orange for Diddy Kong over there. Okay, en enough of this tutorial stuff. Like, I, I, I know what I'm doing. It's not my first time banjoing. There we go. This is for Diddy Kong. It does look a lot like Diddy Kong, doesn't it? Got another Jiggy. Get Jiggy with it! Now I've got eggs. Yeah, this is this part's a little weird. Kazooie can shoot eggs. Ancient ways of the egg. Yeah, so you can like shoot them out of your mouth or shoot them out of your butt. And if you shoot them out of your butt and it doesn't like go where you need it, you can actually run around and pick it up, which is pretty cool. Exciting. Oh, and he stalks me up. I didn't even remember that. And up here is a grunty picture, right? Yeah. And this... Oh, I don't know the butt pound. Oh, you sure about that? Oh, bitch. Oh, that was close. Oh, it's only three shots, too. They use that sound effect in so much in this game. Yeah, give me, get it, give it. I need it. I want it. I need it. I want it. What song is that? Ooh. It's kind of fucking weird that Kazooie just eats that shit. Oh, and this, this bull. Takes three hits to take him out, and it's the app. Oh man, the honeycomb looks really good. Oh good, I don't need the the trot walk to get here. Hey, there we go. Another one. The stages aren't all this easy, unfortunately. Gotta get them eggs, yo. Gotta be making omelets up in here. All right. I think this is where I learned the talent trot. Yeah. It's not just good for that. It's actually really fast. That's interesting. It's completely done with the triggers in this one. I don't think it was done like that. Well, obviously it wasn't. There wasn't two triggers, but wasn't it? Hold Z and press A? Jinjo! So you've got three out of five Jinjos. Oh, I learned the butt pound up here. Finally! The eggs aren't that useful. I think it was in Banjo Tooie they have different kinds of eggs? Something like that? Oh, you don't even need the talent trot here. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, okay. Teach me the butt pound bottle. Boggles, bottles. I can never remember. Yeah, I know. I, I've kind of mastered this. So I'm not going to go in the skull yet. I'm just going to do this stuff here. Jiggies. No, not jiggies. Notes. Just musical. And they make a note when you pick them up. That's so cool. Enough notes to break the first note door spell. 
Oh yeah, note doors. So there is a use to getting the notes. What are you doing here? Go away, you fucking purple moblin. Jinjo. Where's the last Jinjo? I don't remember. One man, yeah. Oh, there's a Jiggy in Mumbo's eye. There's a Jiggy right here. Fuck yeah. Then there's this fucking total juju. It's all about the timing? Oh, too s Boom! So I've got seven. I've only got seven? That's gonna take some getting used to. Oh, there's number eight. I know, I know where one is, but I don't know where number ten is. Damn. Oh, I know what... I know what it is. I gotta get all the Jinjos to get number nine, and then number ten is where... No, and then, yeah, okay. I wasn't even thinking about the Jinjos, like... Now, in this switch, I'm pretty sure it activates a Jiggy outside the course or something like that. But pat. Yes. Like a fox. Ah, he woke up. Best shaman in all the game. Yeah, in the second game, there's other shamans. He's the only one in this one, though. I need five? Crap! I thought for sure I was ready to do the mumbo thing, but... Where, where can I get more mumbo tokens in this world? I, I can't have to leave the world and come back. See, because I need to transform in here. Oh, hey. See, I've only got four. I need five. Fuck. Yes. Man. They only give you exactly enough? I thought you had extras. Yeah. Mighty Mumbo Magic. Equal boom. And now I'm an ant. Hey, I got an achievement for that. So in this first episode, I'm gonna beat the world completely. In the next episodes, I think I might be like, do half a world, because it gets a lot more complicated, you know? So, I'd like to do one world every app, but... See, the termite can scale walls that normal banjo can't. I don't know where the other notes I'm missing are. I th haven't I pretty much gone everywhere? Oh, I see them from here. I bet the last, the last ginger much must be down there too. And no fall damage on this guy. I don't know where the last ginger is. Oh, there it is. It just blended with the notes. And all a hundred notes for this world. Thank you. And all the gingos, all the puzzle pieces for this world. You get that special music when you get all ten, but I guess uh, 
guess he doesn't actually tell you that you've gotten them all. I would have thought. And here's the cool thing. When you're transformed like this, you can actually go outside the world transformed. So, what do you think I'm doing? And the only real use, for this guy at least, get that special jiggy. See, I've gotten two jiggies for outside. Ten in the world, so I have twelve in total, although, you know, I've used one. And because I've entered the world, enemies start appearing outside of it now. And then... And his magic doesn't last forever. Here's a good image to end this on. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. This was a lot of fun. I fucking love this game. Definitely going to be playing this to completion. Going to try for 100% completion. Some of that might have to be off screen just because I don't want to bore you hunting down like notes when it takes me, you know. But yeah, this is such a good game. I'm so happy to be playing this. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, my name is Rob Moore and welcome back to Slime Adventure. Um, this episode at the beginning probably looks a lot like the last one. Um, done a little bit of work. See, my water level is now level 13. My water level looking a pool. It's level 13, fire and thunder, I put up one. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna go fight this boss. I don't know how well this is going to